Hey, what's up squad? Dalton D3T here with a war recap. We got 15 triples this war against this Chinese clan. And uh, I mean, we're feeling good. We're feeling real good. Uh, and I'm feeling extremely good because I got an opening six pack. I'm gonna give myself the spotlight a little bit here, okay? The first two attacks of this war without any interruptions uh, were back to back three star attacks. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling, <laughs> I found my combo, okay? It took me a little bit. But I have found my combo for attacking. So this was uh, six minutes into the war um, and opened up with a kill squad hog attack. And uh, as you can see, you know, I, I preach this every time. What are the big things that you're looking for in a kill squad hog attack? You know, if you could take out an Inferno, Town Hall, Enemy CC, Queen King, and then the Eagle Artillery, then you are, you're, it's a match made in heaven. I mean, the kill squad isn't even that big of a kill squad here. I'm using seven bowlers with the uh, king, queen, warden's ability, and then the CC. So it's really not a lot. But uh, pushing through these bases, I mean, just the damage that it gets done. And as long as you can guarantee, you know, the majority of those structures, the biggest thing is probably the town hall and the heroes. Because the town hall will, will kill the hogs right away uh, on the Giga Tesla explosion. And then the queen and the king will just, you know, over time take and get rid of them. Uh, each hog one by one. So that's the biggest thing, a uh, piece of advice I can give. I'm loving these uh, kill squad hog, att hog attacks. You know, I feel like I found my mojo. I'm confident in it. And, uh, you know, it's it feels good being able to triple back to back like this. And, you know, not a ton of planning was in order you know both of these attacks i think were, were within the first 10 minutes of the war start maybe 15 and uh it, it, there was you know obviously i planned but it's just finding the right base that will control the fact that that kill squad will take out all of the uh key structures so here's my second one and obviously as you can see you know the same thing that i'm preaching is is all of those key structures are right there in the path of that kill squad. So I'm gonna send it right in <clears throat> from the one o'clock, get into that town hall compartment, rage those boiler, bowlers, take out a uh, town hall, and then the CC is gonna come. I'm gonna poison, jump the CC, and then where that Eagle Artillery, Queen, you got the King taken out uh, right there. And you know, then we're just pushing through uh, I guess another piece of good advice I could give is on these kill squad hog attacks, uh, try to save your healers and keep your queen alive. Obviously, the queen's the most important troop in the game right now, or, and will be for a while. So if you can send your hogs in uh, on a on an area that has like a multi-target inferno that is targeting those healers, that's a you know that's huge. I kind of made the mistake, and I think it was a CWL attack one of our last days is that I sent hogs on the opposite side and if it would have if I would have sent them in on the side that the healers are getting hit by the multi it would have been a triple so I learned my lesson won't do that again well uh there you go there was my back-to-back uh, -back triples as the this war started now we're going to show off some other attacks uh obviously I'm not going to do all of them because that would take just way too much time uh for me commenting on all these videos so I've got uh, another player in the clan named Godblin, I'm sure most of you are aware of him. Well, he is actually recording all the triples and uploading them onto his YouTube. So if you want to stick in for that, there's no commentary on it, but uh, good music and good uh, good vibes coming from there. And uh, here you go. You've got Nakata on a different kind of kill squad hot, hog attack. His kill squad, he doesn't have healers. I really like to have those healers in here, but he's sacrificing those for a bigger hog uh, push take out more of those defenses but in the it doesn't matter because the same you know the same bases is what we're looking at and in that kill squad healers are regardless he was able to take out the town hall the eagle artillery enemy cc king and queen all right there which is all the key structures and then he's going to have just overkill on how many hogs he's got left alive so you know great vision to have uh nakata on these attacks awesome job and uh i mean great planning beautiful and then from there it's just easy cleanup easy easy nikata has uh he's had a lot of luck with these uh kill squad hog, hog attacks i've noticed quite a few coming from him and then the second one we are going to go into is greek 
And, uh, you know, I wanted to put this in there in this recap because nine times out of ten, even if it's a 40 vs. 40 clan war, you're going to have someone, unless it's like an elite, I mean, like a, a mod clan or something like that, they're going to push or they're going to put a island base because you have so many people and so many different bases. Odds are someone's going to have a island base. So why not, you know, just extra practice, extra recap uh, to show you guys. <clears throat> And I mean, look at the value on this queen walk. I I will say he knocked out. I believe it's sixty five percent of this base with just the queen walk and the siege, and then a few cleanup troops. Uh, before he sent in the majority of his troops, and I mean, it's just an incredible queen walk, and, and the precision behind like having these loons to go in and get the eagle artillery, and then you've got the enemy queen gonna get taken out right here. Uh, by our he had a, a two ice golem a baby dragon in the CC and the baby dragon took out the enemy archer queen by herself I mean that that's, it's crazy awesome strategy you know I didn't even think about that and uh, I mean he pulled it off great and Greek's actually gonna end up with a swag rage at the end of this he takes the town hall out there and then he's gonna put that rage down just to use it I mean he didn't need it but he just you know swag rage right there Awesome hit. Awesome hit. And, you know, you might see the, more of those island bases in the upcoming CDWL, which is, what, 10 days away now? <laughs> These things are flying by. I love it, though. I will say I love it. All right, now, here is an old face, or old name, uh, Ratters. Uh, I was actually with him and Regulators Elite months and months ago, and then he moved to uh, J.O., and then uh, I moved to Midnight Legion, and then now we ended up uh, in Just Ordinary together. And, I mean, this guy, you know, he's a, he's a big name a uh, long time ago, and, and he's he's definitely on the rise again. And, uh, you know, it felt pretty honored to show an attack by him because it's nice seeing him coming back and, and I mean, tripling like this. He's uh, he's definitely invested now. And notice he's going to do the same thing, a, uh, a queen charge hog attack and he's he and this is a little bit different the way that he did it but he is putting that kill squad in there to take out the enemy queen he's got the eagle artillery and then he's going to put a jump into that center and he's going to take out the king and the enemy cc there in the center and then he's going to send those hogs in and he saved the warden for the hogs as they go over the town hall so that he doesn't have to uh, worry about them dying over the town hall and that's huge because it's kind of hard to pace the warden with the hogs because the hogs outrun the warden for the most part. So, um, you know, just excellent strategy. I compliment these guys a lot, you know. Each one is, is worth a, a, you know, a pat on the back saying good job. So, you know, there's Ratter's friendly face coming around and getting the quick triple. Uh, hopefully we'll see more more from him in the upcoming wars. And now we are going to move into the next triple. And this triple is going to be by none other than dun, 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 PK. Uh, for those of you who don't know, PK was, uh, that's Paul, and he was the former leader of Midnight Legion um, even before he handed it off to Tommy. So this guy, uh, extremely uh, known and, and good attacker. It's good to see him on here. And he's going to be doing this. Oh, okay, so this attack is pretty funny. Um, I will definitely say there was a little bit of luck in the finish of this attack. Um, just because the troops kind of start to wander a little bit instead of going the path that he uh, obviously was hoping for right away. So he, I mean, he pushed through and he's got 50% of the base. He's got probably 25% of the base just as scraps on the uh, nine o'clock side. I mean, all those structures that are just spaced out. So he got the uh, Pekka Bowler bat attack. He sent the bats in from about this uh, five o'clock and those, those bowlers are just gonna clean up on those outside scraps. And as you can see from here, this is the part I was saying, you know, those bowlers kind of went on the outside <clears throat> and all he's got is a, a pecker or two <laughs> a pecker or two and uh pushing through and he's still got the town hall at 90 percent it's not you know, the most ideal thing but activating that king's ability is going to have that town hall hit the barbarian king's uh barbarians that he spawned from using his ult and those bowlers are going to be able to hit that town hall so 
you know, that was that was a good attack, a great attack, and that was actually the last attack that put us to 15 triples. So he was under pressure, and we were our goal was 15 triples. So awesome job. All right, now Superman. Okay, this is Tommy, and he's he was the former leader of Midnight Legion, and this guy. Man, I was so pumped because I got I got back to back triples. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be able to to, to talk smack to Tommy. You know, he's not gonna get a six pack, and he follows it up with a six pack. So as of right now, I still can't talk crap to Tommy because we are tied. So he's got uh, a extremely precise uh, kill squad Laloon coming through here, and you know I say this every single video that I put up. You know the precision they have on these is is incredible. He, uh, you know, healing spell right through those double wizard towers. Every, every troop is accounted for. You know, those backside loons coming through. He's putting a haste on that final set of defenses in the center of that last compartment. I, I mean, can't go around and saying that, that the precision on those attacks is unreal. I will never, uh, I'll never be able to understand it. I'm good with my kill squad hogs, but excellent job, Tommy. He's on vacation right now somewhere doing some cool things, so... Glad for that he can make time to do some of these raids. And yeah, here's a little uh, recap of all the defenses that we did. And we just matched another team, and um, it's going to be a good war, uh, definitely. This one might be a little bit closer. The enemy that we just matched is averaging about 10 triples every uh, 40 versus 40 war, just average, and you know, maybe give or take one or two. But, um, yeah, we'll definitely have a recap for you on that one as soon as that one ends. And this is going to be the last attack that I show for the, uh, this Clan War recap. And this is Panic Cuban or uh, Jordan. And, you know, it's good showing him off as well. He, uh, he is an incredible attacker, uh, co-leader for this uh, Just Ordinary, and was a co-leader in Midnight Legion. And he's doing a, a queen charge with the uh, siege through the center and then doing hogs around the outside. I definitely wanted to showcase these uh, hog attacks just because we uh, we were really getting the hang of them. And they're starting, they're, they're not like a spam attack. So it's nice being able to, you know, have the precision and they're, they're pretty not overpowered right now, but they, the newest level definitely helped out. And, uh, it's it's not a spam attack. You do need to concentrate and know where you're placing each troop, but um, it's a it's definitely a very strong attack right now. I'd say the only other consistently strong attack besides the kill squad hogs is going to be the Pekka Bobat, just because the the turnouts on those are triples left and right. But um. Yeah, guys, I uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, recap. And, you know, sorry I can't show them all, but uh, just for uploading purposes, I want to make sure that we're, we're you know, showing off and...